Hallelujah and blessings, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus the Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together the people of God say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July the 2nd of the year 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, before we look at our text this morning, if you've been with us since the beginning, which would be January 1st of the year 2017, then you will know that we have drifted from where we began. You see, the purpose of One a Day for the Soul was to give you an opportunity to hear a fresh word from the Lord that would charge you and make you ready for your day of spiritual battle as a Christian. And yet it has slowly evolved into more of a study, a lengthy study. And I was recently reminded of this by my dad who watches often. And so what we are going to do is return back to those small times of devotion. However, if you would like to continue to be a part of our studies, specifically Galatians and the book of First Enoch, feel free to visit us at the link below and we will continue these studies on a day-by-day -day basis. That being said, if you have your Bible in front of you, turn to Philippians chapter 3. Now, I've been reading the book of Philippians this month every single day and I would encourage you to do the same. Pick, pick a small book of the Bible, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd Timothy, and read that same book every day for the month of July, and you'll be amazed at how much you'll remember and retain from doing so. Now, Paul has just said in verse 3 that we rejoice in Christ Jesus and we take no confidence in the flesh. Now, Paul has just listed a series of things that he could take confidence in, and I'm sure if you and I think about it, there are many things that we can take confidence in. But in verse 7, Paul says, What things were gained to me, all those things that I take confidence in, those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, not taking pride in the things that I do unto the Lord or for the Lord or even in his name. These things are of the law. But that which is through faith of Christ or love of Christ, you see it is because of our passionate love for him that we seek to serve him and thereby serve others. He says the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Now stop and think about that. What does that mean? The power of his resurrection. When Jesus came out of the grave, he was much different than when he entered in. He was no longer carnal. He was now spiritual. And that's what that is telling us. Paul is saying, look, I want to know Christ so that I am no longer carnal and following after carnal desires, but I am spiritual and I'm seeking spiritual things. And I want to know the fellowship of his sufferings. Why? Because Paul realizes that it was through Jesus' sufferings that he was made strong unto God. In other words, there is a purpose for the things that we go through, from the smallest to the largest of things. Each one is forming us and shaping us into the image that God would have us be. And he finishes verse 10 by saying, being made conformable unto his death, being made like unto his death. Just as he was crucified for us, we are to be crucified for him. We crucify our flesh daily. We sacrifice the things that we enjoy, the things that we like for his sake. And that's exactly where we begin. Paul says, I count all things but loss for the excellency of knowing Jesus Christ my Lord. And so I would ask you today, friends, what have you counted lost for the sake of knowing Jesus Christ your Lord? What have you sacrificed lately for his name? A sacrifice is simply giving up something that we love, something that we like, something that we enjoy. And we do so because we understand that the reward is much greater than the sacrifice. So let's end with an encouragement today, friends. Give up something in his name a resource, a material possession, your time, 
but do something for the Lord today that's going to cost you in a great way. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so thankful that you decided to spend a few moments with us this morning. Please continue to pray for us as we do for you. And as 1 John chapter 2, verse 6 tells us, if you call yourself a follower of the Lord Jesus, walk as he walked this day that he has blessed you with. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I love you, friends. I'll see you on the next video.